Hey guys, if you're asked to find the cross product between two vectors, how are you going to do it without peeing yourself? I got an easy method for you right here. If you're asked to find, in this case, A cross B, here's what I want you to do. Take A, the first vector, and write it out horizontally, then write it out horizontally again. Do the same for your second vector underneath. 106, 106. Then, your answer, which is going to be in the form of a vector, is 3 times 6, that's 18, minus 0 times negative 4, that's 0. Keep moving across. 4 times 1, well, negative 4 times 1, minus 6 times 7. And 7 times 0 minus 1 times 3. Now I'm just pulling this out of my butt when I say that's why it's called the cross product, but I think this is related to how the matrix algebra works. And so your cross product is the vector, what do you want to call it, C? I don't care. 18, negative 46, negative 3. Now for those of you who are asking, what does that even mean? Well, the magnitude of this vector is equal to the area of the parallelogram that uh, is made by these two vectors and the origin. But uh, the other thing to note is that when you find a vector that is the cross product of these two, this vector is here, that vector is there, this vector is m perpendicular to both of them. That's what gives you that third dimension. You guys remember how your x and your y axis meet at 90 degrees? Well what if there was another axis that popped out of the page at you? It's 90 degrees with this axis and 90 degrees with that axis. That's the concept of a cross product. Boom! Best of luck.